Dan Perry here with another C++ tutorial for Dan on Tech. In this video, we'll begin looking at some of the math functions. So far, we've looked at basic math operations. We've looked at addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, the modulus functions, those things that are uh, used most often. But very often, we need some additional functionality, uh, additional routines that uh, need to do more complex math. So one way to do it, we could always build our own functions. We've not gotten to functions yet, but we could build those. But instead, there is a library of math functions that allow us to do some of those operations. And to, to use those functions, we have to add the library. So the library that we use for that is the CMath library. Now, th that's for C++. If you were doing uh, C programming, instead of the CMath library, it would be math.h, <coughs> providing still, again, the same functionality. So we've got that library added. Again, it's the include, and it's CMath. Now, to use it, uh, I'm going to do in this video a couple of those operations we'll look at, and then in future videos we'll look at some of the others. Well, there are a number of those there. I've created a couple of variables. I've created x and y, both uh, floating point double precision numbers. And for ease, instead of storing those results in a variable and then outputting it, I'm just going to see out the functions. You would rarely do this in real life. Normally you would do the calculations, store it in a function, and then use it for other purposes. So I'm going to describe the function in a comment and then put the function in. So the first one is uh, raise x to the power of y, or x raised to the y power, and with it, <clears throat> what we're actually doing is we're saying x to the y power. So in this case, that would be 2.3 to the 3.5 power. Now, if those had been integer values, or at least the power had been an integer value, we could have very easily done that with the math functions we know. But when the power is a floating point number, that makes it more difficult. If that had been 2.3 raised to the third power, we could do 2.3 times 2.3 times 2.3, or in this case, x times x times x. But how would we do the half power? So in order to do that, we have a function called the POW or power function. So it's P-O-W, and then in parentheses we provide it two parameters. The number and then the value we want to raise it to, and those could be numbers, and the first time uh, I'm going to use the variables, then I'll use a number, an example with a number. So X comma Y, <clears throat> and this says take X and raise it to the power of Y. So if we now run this one to see, let's go ahead and put an indel here. When it runs this math function, it tells me that those value, the value or x raised to the power of y is 18.4522. And we've looked at formatting in earlier videos, so if we wanted to format this, we could. <clears throat> well, let's duplicate this line and let's just let's instead of x to the power of y let's do x raised to the power of 4 or fourth power <clears throat> and I'm going to also change the value of x this time I'm going to make make x just 2.0 and I'm doing this so that this is something we can easily calculate uh, when we do it uh, so when I run it, now we get, in both cases, uh, well, 11, well, what did I do? 
silly me i changed it in my text but i didn't put the four here i left that to the power of y so remember to get your program right well now when i make it x raised to the fourth power hopefully we will get a different answer in the two lines and the first one we get the 11.3 well that's two raised to the three and a half power <clears throat> and here we get 16 well 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 again is 16, so that would be 2 to the 4th, and that shows that we are getting the correct value. So that's the power function that lets us raise a number to a power. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists.